Hi, sweetie. That's my dad and my stepmother, everybody. We say prayers before every show, Dad. We're not just doing it because you're here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Saying prayers is big in my house, so. Anyway, um, now it's my hometown. Um, where to begin? Um, well, uh, I grew up, uh, I grew up pretty much spending my whole childhood, you know, wishing to live in a more exciting, creative, um, environment with more expressive artistic people but the fact of the matter is growing up here um, without a lot of artistic expressive people <laughs> um, gave me hunger and desire for things and um, and yeah um, the funny thing is we always talk about creativity in this circle we always talk about how important it is to be creative to how lucky we are to be artists, how lucky we are to be able to express ourselves the way we do. We all have gifts to give to the world. And um, funnily enough, and ironically enough, I grew up in a house where um, the arts weren't really um, emphasized, but education was emphasized. And uh, that was my dad's big thing, being educated, that knowledge is power. and that was a tremendous influence on me. Um, and, you know, my father is a scientist, um, and he's an engineer, and he's, um, you know, he always pushed me to go to university. Uh, even when I was living in Manhattan, even when I made my first records, even when I had become what people call a superstar, I would still get calls from my dad, this is really true, and he'd say, when are you coming back to go to the university? Um, <laughs> because the thing is, I got, I got a scholarship, a partial scholarship, to go to University of Michigan, and it was a good experience. But I knew what I wanted to do with my life, and I didn't want to waste any more time. So I just moved to New York. And my dad, of course, was kind of worried about that. Um, and rightly so. It's a scary place to live in, if you come from Podunk, where I come from. Um, Anyway, so, and of course the other thing is, uh, I grew up, eight kids in our house. My dad had to work hard to feed us, and um, his work ethic, you know, he's, Dad, how old are you? 81. 81. Wow. He's 81, he still works every day in his vineyard, he makes wine. Mm. Blue zone. Okay. Blue zone. Blue zone, right? Blue zone. So he gets up every day and he, he does his work, and, and uh, if you want to know where I got it from, it's him, um, because he's a workhorse. And, and I remember coming home from school every day, and I would look at the t table in the kitchen, and there would be a long list of chores I had to do. And, and um, I don't remember a lot of free time, play time. Um, and I'm not complaining, because it gave me the drive that I have today. And when I decided I wanted to be a dancer, and I said, I want to take dance classes. My dad would say, well, better go get a job so you can pay for it. <laughs> so that's what I did. Babysitting, cleaning houses, um, delivering newspapers, whatever. So um, thank you, Dad, for saying no all the time to me. <laughs> <laughs> can I go to the movies? No. <laughs> it was always no. Um, and that resistance that you gave me to push against is what made me turn me into the fighter that I am. Yep. And um, I tried to be that way with my kids. Um, <laughs> I'm not as good at it as you are. <laughs> um, you try saying no to Lola. Um, <laughs> it's pretty hard. <laughs> um, but so, so, education so so thank you for for giving me the work ethic that i have 
You're welcome. And uh, thank you for saying no all the time. And um, and also my father, you know, we have very different uh, points of view as far as politics and religion. And all that stuff goes, but we've learned to accept each other's differences. Um, he's still mourning Mitt, Mitt Romney's loss, and that's okay. <laughs> um, I'll help you through it. <laughs> um, but, um, but I've spent the last 30 years saying to my dad, you know, believe me, he's seen it all. He's seen it all. <laughs> He's seen it all. <laughs> and, um, and I always say, but Dan, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just expressing myself artistically. And that's sort of a joke around the house, too. <laughs> so tonight, I'll be expressing myself artistically. <laughs> um, try not to be, you know, it is, you know, hi. Hi. Um, <laughs> puppeteering is my next job. Um, it is the story, in case you all haven't heard it, this show actually has a story. It's the story, it's the, it's the journey of a soul from darkness to light. So um, there is a spiritual aspect to it. It's very violent in the beginning, um, but everything has its place um, and it goes from darkness to light. So um, I'm just giving you the heads up. The other Do thing is, uh, what? <laughs> what? Do I need to leave the stage? <laughs> you won't be on the stage. <laughs> okay. 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 You know, you know, you don't need to leave. Okay. You look down at your program. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, but all of that, you know, all of that aside, I, I wanted to also read a poem uh, that. Uh, Actually, Michelle gave me a book the other night called Conversational Rape. I know it's a weird title, but um, it's really about the use of words and, and, and like using language properly. But there's a poem in the beginning of it, and it's about creativity and being an artist. It's only one page. Don't worry. <laughs> and um, I wanted to read it to you. It's really good. Are you ready? Yes. Ready. Okay. So, the truly creative mind in any field is no more than this, a human creature born abnormally, inhumanly sensitive. To him or her, a touch is a blow, a sound is a noise, a misfortune is a tragedy, a joy is an ecstasy, a friend is a lover, a lover is a god and failure is death. And to this cruelly delicate organism, the overpowering necessity, add to this cruelly delicate organism, the overpowering necessity to create, create, create. So that without the creating of music, or poetry, or books, or buildings, or something of meaning, his or her very breath is cut off from him. He must create, must pour out creation. By some strange, unknown, inward urgency, he is not really alive unless he is creating. And I feel that was written by Pearl S. Buck, by the way. And I feel like everybody in this room knows this feeling. And everybody in this room creates in their way, in their way, whether it's through music or dance playing instruments, singing, uh, doing hair or makeup, uh, wardrobe. We are all artists in this room. We are all creators. And that's what we were put in this earth to do. So let's go out tonight in my hometown, in the Motor City, where we know how to kick some ass and make some cars, <laughs> or play some rock and roll. <laughs> and have an amazing show. Yep. Yeah. Yeah.
show tonight. We're going to wear our Obama t shirts again. Sorry, Dad. We're going to wear our Obama t shirts. You're going to wear Obama t shirts. You can wear whatever you want. You can express whatever you want. Artistic expression. Okay, ready, guys? Yeah. Girls? Yep. Children? Say mom. Uh, yeah, creativity all the way. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Motor City. All the way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys. <laughs> 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 Thank you for I want to write the sentence. Okay. Okay. Hopefully it's in phone. Okay. Bye. They're sitting in the same area. No holiday. In the same area, but not in the same area. This is his usual. Okay. You better watch out because my dad loves priests. Dad, Dad, have you met Father Kevin? He sometimes he's a, he plays keyboards in in my band, but he's also a pastor at a local church. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, he's from Boston. Nice he's to meet you. Moved to he has a nice parish in Orlando now. I do actually. Yeah, yeah. We haven't yeah. figured out the voting process, but the parish is lovely. Yeah, yes. the people who come to your church are lovely. Anyways, yeah. he's there. He's my he's my guiding light on stage. Good. Okay. Try All right. Good. Somebody gotta be. Somebody. Yes, somebody's <laughs> gotta be. Oh. All right, go to your seats. All right. Have a good time. Thank you for a wonderful time. <laughs> you know. Well, we won't see you. Oh, I love it. You're welcome. This is my very first. Don't let anybody else drive it. You. Don't let I let him. Drive him. It. Ooh, can I have some refresher? Oh, work. Yeah. Good luck. Close your eyes. <laughs> okay, Dad, watch the whole right. show. We will. <laughs> Artistic sure. expression. Right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't know. No, 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 no. Yeah, I have the seats.